Hello guys, um, this is the part two to the collection. So let's start. This is Archaeopteryx. Mine actually has a missing toe. I don't really see the mine. You can tell where it's missing. Um, this one is next. It's going to fall off later. And a little bit of the fingernail on this. This came off, which is, I don't care. Now, Archaeopteryx was known to be the first bird. And the, this lived in the Jurassic period. Um, the colors are nice. That's all. The orange. And the white and the black. And the yellow eye. It's just amazing. Um, yeah, let's go next to the Parasaurolosis. Ow. This was a ha which, which, this was a Hadrosaur and the Lamiosaurinae family that lived in the in North America in the Lake Cretaceous. Um, the colors are nice, the texture is nice. If you look at it, which you probably can't, it has very small scales, which I just love it. Um, the I like how they airbrushed. I think they airbrushed it. I don't know. They cut the spots and the little triangles, things. And they got the... They painted the crust brown. They could have painted, like, more flashy colors. This is a 2017 figure, by the way. Um, this is Ineosaurus. This is the Buffalo Lizard. Now, please note... Um, I'm stupid. There is... Um, a weird shaped horn for a ceratopsian. Which I don't know much about this. This is a 2017 figure. I like how they got the armor on there. I like the size of it. I like the colors on the frill. The red and then yellow in the middle. Um, the bottom is like a beige. And goes all the way down. There's a little bit of a little bit of orange, I think, and there's some gray on the back. Yeah, this is another one, a very nice figure that which doesn't really stand that well. It'll stand, but it'll kind of lean over because I think it's because the feet are weird like that. All of them are like that, by the way, guys. So don't go out trying to find more. All of them are like that. There's a little bit of red paint on mine. It came like that. Um, you can just lean it like that. Well, I'm on a mattress. And I'll stand. Well, I love the colors. I like the yellow as the beak. Dinocharis was a large onodomimosaur from China in the late Cretaceous. This means terrible hand. And they, and I, I love how they got feathers on this. They got the, or. Uh, a white head with a little bit of pink and there's yellow the white stripes and then it stops and there's white here and orange it's just a very gorgeous figure next is the micro raptor mine doesn't really stand that well um it stands sometimes but it just lean over on its head there's a fan next to me a uh, micro raptor with a yell small Dromaeosaur from China in the Cretaceous. I don't know when in the Cretaceous. And it was hunted by Cynonotosaurus, which is another Dromaeosaur with a venomous bite. And the colors are simple. There's a little bit of um, brownish purple. Um, I don't know. There's an orange eye. There's yellow. Different yellow. And the rest of it's black, which was surprisingly accurate. They could have but it was a very similar colors of a crow. It kind of had that, it, it reflected like a blue, which is, I don't even care. I like it. I'm going to put them up here. This is Regaloceratops. Um, this is a Chasmosaurinae. You know, this was a member of the Chasmosaurinae family or the Ceratopsian family from the Lake Cretaceous. I think it's the Lake Cretaceous. I don't know. I don't know where this lived. Um, the colors are basic gray on the back, 
brown on the bottom underbelly. Now the horns are nice. And they just got the scales on there. Yeah. Ceratosaurus. This little figure that looks a lot like the Jurassic Park 3 one. I mean, that's just in my opinion. I actually repainted one with the colors of Jurassic Park 3 Ceratosaurus. Um, it's not that good. Now the colors, there's brown with white. And there's a little bit of red here. Teeth are nice. Yeah. A Patasaurus, this is another nice figure of mine. Now, I actually have two of these. I gave one to my grandpa, and I got this one. I found my old one right after we ordered this one. And this came in later. I was really upset. Um, the colors are simple. There's gray, with a peach color, like a beige. There's a, it has a, a yellow eye. Very whip-like tail. Um, there's that. I'll grab a couple of these. This is the Iguanodon. This is a nice color. I mean, I like the colors on this. And, um, sorry I farted. Um, the eye is green. I don't know why I'm just talking about the eye all the time. Um, the colors are beige on the bottom, but brown, and then you got a little bit of purple going down, and you got a little bit of orange, I think, going down. I can't really know what colors they are. I'm not colorblind. I, I remember a store, I saw a shirt, or, yeah, the shirt, it was a Sartreuse color, which was very ugly, greenish, yellow kind, the fluorescent one. I can't, my aunt thought it was a spring green, kind of. See what I said. This is one of my one of my favorites of 2017 dinosaur lines. I love the teeth on it. Um, the tail has the black stripes. And it has a black stripe going down, up, down the tail. Like, similar to blue, but not blue. The legs have white here and the orange here, the orange here, there's a little bit of gray, I think, a yellow eye, and it has a little red crest, I think, here, that's just that, I want to find the old Cantrosaurus, that would be really nice to have in my collection, this is the Safari Limited Draco Rex, um, this is, I'm just going to call it a Pachycephalosaurus, because it was Pachycephalosaurus, now, the growth stage of Pachycephalosaurus uh, was this. It would hatch like this. It would grow for a little bit. but And then it would grow the spikes. And then uh, it will grow a dome with more spikes. And then the spikes would just kind of become stubbier. Not, not as much. And then the dome is there. Yeah. I want the new 2020 Pachycephalosaurus and the new Edmontosaurus. The new Deinonychus, which more than likely won't stand on mine. I'll get the stand. Um, the colors are nice. The orange here. The blackish color. Maybe a dark gray. A green. And, um, because there's scoots and armor down the tail and body. Now, Dinosaurs, they would have, they can have more than three fingers, but only three of them would have spikes. I watched a lot of your dinosaurs are wrong, and they would have that there should only be three nails. I was thinking like these two shouldn't have nails, but it's okay. There's yellow on the underbelly, the spring green kind of well, darker. I don't know how I don't remember. This is another new one, which is my grandpa's favorite out of all of these, he says. The Anamite. This is just a plain old Anamite. Um, these, these lived everywhere in the Mesozoic. Um, the tentacles, it's like he's grabbing out like that. The eye, I really, really love the eye. I like how the, the little yellow, the white dot there. 
gives it a kind of a sparkle. I just like to hold it here because it's really fun. I don't know, it just feels really cool. I have an animite fossil. Um, I probably won't ever show that. I also have a trilobite and a dead shark. It's that little blue thing right there. It won't be able to zoom in. It's that little blue jar. You can kind of see him, actually. Chill on there. My mom actually brought that back for me. I was like, what the fuck is that? She said, it's a shark. That is a dead shark. It's some sort of a lantern shark. And, yeah, it's an animite. This is another one of my favorite figures of 2019. The Camarasaurus. This is one of my favorites. This is actually my favorite sauropod. Um, my favorite Spinosaurus, Sucumimus. Favorite Pterosaurus, Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah, this is, the colors are great on this. There's, like, brownish-orange stripes going down the tail. Halfway down the tail. There's, like, a beige in the underbelly. The head is just amazing. Yeah, screw it. My phone does not want to focus. And the colors are, there's some gray on there. This is another one of my favorite figures. A Metrodon. It's better than the show like one. Well, the green show like one. No one likes that. I want to find the, the other ones. Um, the colors on the sail are nice. or are yellow or red stripes. Then it fades down to this bluish brown color. And then it goes to brown. The head's nice. Um, the eye is just black. It's one of those kind of eyes. This is um, the feathered velociraptor. Now mine actually came warped. The feet is to stand like that. But that's not a problem. As long as they stand, that's all that matters. Yeah. Um... Um, the tail is nice. There's, it's like an orange. And then there's on the outside of it, or on the edges, there's brown and white with white dots. The head is nice. There's a bright white underbelly, which looks a lot like a very fuzzy turkey that you can just want to hug it. And it'll, it'll kill you. This is the almighty. You want the only Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, this was one of the few safari figures that I've that I have that have scars on. He has two two scratches on his face. Now they left this to get naked, and then the head's naked. Well, it's scaly. There's some big feathers here, and then it kind of goes down here, all the way down. There's dark brown. There's red. There's little, some orange, and there's some beige. The tail, the feet. Um, it's very nice. All right, I've got a handful. Let's go over the the my only Carnegie figure, the Baryonyx. Safari, remake your Baryonyx. I don't like the stance on this one. The colors I like. I I don't like the stance of this. Like some maroon kind of stripes. And there's like a lighter green, there's some green here. And I don't like how the stance is like that. They wouldn't have done that. That would have been more realistic. Put them right there. Another, this is one of my favorite safari figures. The Acrocanthosaurus or Tokenus. I believe that's how you say his, the last name of it. The surname, I don't know what the y'all you you nerds probably have a surname for it. The the head is amazing. Um the white, browns, um black it has a yellow eye by the way. That one just has a black eye, the the baryonyx. I'm a really like the stance of it. It's very big feet, even though it won't stand up stand on a bed, but they will. Um nice Three fingered hands, black nails. This is a 2012 figure. Now, this, that, it's a very beautiful figure. 
I got that one on AC Moore for $13, which now is out of business. This is another brand new one, the City Petty. It's an over wrapper store. Um, don't, I don't know where it lived. I think North America, but I don't remember. Um, there's some orange down here. And then there's browns, greens, blues, whites. And a little bit of black here and there. The wings on it. Here's how big mine is. I just love that figure. Um, this is Vagas Ceratops. This is one of my this is my favorite Ceratopsian out of Ceratopsians. Um, I think this is a Centrosaur. I don't know. I will look it up. I think it lived in North America. I could be wrong. I love the colors on this. Um, oranges and yellows. That's all this thing has. They have the yellow eye. I keep talking about the eye. Why? The frill is nice. There's like orange scales on the, in the middle of the frill. And then it just kind of lines up here. Yellow and orange stripes going down the tail. Yellow underbelly, orange back. This is now Pseudoceratops. The big, um, I don't know what the name means. Now this looks weird in my opinion. That right there, it kind of just jumps down and then just continues the rest. On um, the horns, they kind of come out like that. I'm so sorry my camera is so blurry and it sucks ass, I know. Um, yellow, gray. I think it, I say that a lot. It doesn't really look good together, but this one does look good. And, um, we got yellows and on the underbelly and on the arms, the legs, the frill, and grays on the back and on the arms, the legs, and the frill. Yeah. This is Carnotaurus. Very big figure, and it probably will stand for you on a mattress. It No, it won't. No. Um, th this does stand very well. The head is nice. The colors are really nice. It's like a grayish color. And there's brown stripes and everywhere on here. Nice little arms. No, I think the arms would have been back some. The there I would think there would be nails. I think this finger probably would not have had nails. But the other three did. We don't know. The I think it's really nice. Um I got a couple more. Oh I got four. The Dilophosaurus. This is the older Dilophosaurus. I want the new one very bad, actually. I really want that one. Because mine, the hand, the, the right, not the right, that hand right there, it's, I had to put glue on it. I show it's stupid. Um, there's reds, blacks, grayish white, and a little bit of brown on the feet. This one's a, 2008, 2008. This is a 2019 swimming Spinosaurus. This is a really big figure. I unboxed it on the channel, actually. And I'm like, wow, this is really big. That's how big it is. The colors are just amazing. Now, we know that the tail would have been like the Mosasaurus I did in the last video. I don't want to finish this couple minutes. Now they have web feet which I think it looks accurate. This was now realized it was more adapted for swimming. The little crest on its on right in front of its eyes, the sail with the goldish yellow and the black stripes and alligator like tail which was not accurate. It was a, a paddle like tail or, or, or Shit, it's like a the boat kind. Two more. The Tyranodon. 2019 one. I really love it. 
like to pick this one. I like it where I can find a rock and I can just have it looking out into the ocean. The colors are really gorgeous on there. There's like reds and then it fades up to yellow with black stripes everywhere. I got a reddish orange beak. White down there. Like a, a brownish burnt umber. I don't know. Back. Yeah. This one is the Chronosaurus. This is a way, way oversized. Safari would. They won't make another one for a while. It's too big. So there's Chronosaurus. <sighs> Well, this is it. This is the last one in the collection. Well, this collection, I have more at my aunt's house. The teeth are nice, you can see down the throat. Simply, the colors are black with a little bit of gray and white and pink. You can count the inside of the mouth. They have the black eye. Yellow eye, the pteranodon. Yo, this is my Safari Limited collection. Let's take a picture for thumbnail. Very blurry. Have a good one.